It's gonna be a spicy set. Renzo definitely well, the one favorite here. I feel it's like. It's gonna be spicy or Gilly's gonna get his ass. I feel like he can pull it out. It's gonna be rough. Um, Renzo definitely favored. They play a lot, don't they? Yeah, like they, yeah they definitely play a lot. Like, yeah, local as well. Just practice a lot together against each other. Um, yeah, so we might just see some, like, mind games based on that. Yeah, yeah Gilly is a very, yeah, I think a very correct player. I love playing against well, him. Well, you said it, right? He yeah. doesn't do that many like, silly things. That, no. That he does what he needs to do, work. and he does it pretty well. Like, he's just good. <laughs> It's such a Renzo That's setup. such a Renzo. That's such, how did I even tip her? <laughs> I was going to say, like, Renzo, he also does, like, the only the things that he shoots, but all the things he does are so tricky. So, I feel like um, Fosnel put it, uh, put it well uh, when I spoke to him last uh, time. He said, you know, Renzo, he's just such a deep bag of tricks, but compared to, like, the other, like, top, real top, top, top players, he might have a little bit of a, he might struggle a bit more uh, in like neutral, just fundamental base. Right. But you have to be good enough yeah. to evade his tricks, and to yeah. be good enough, you have to be at least like yeah. top five in them, probably, and true. Or, or like top five more in other countries. So we're really talking about like MP, MPPR, uh yeah, level. And these two have played a lot, so maybe Gilles, you know, maybe he knows, knows how to. He uh, knows a lot of the tricks. Yeah. So Renzo really is always, you know, putting out more tricks. Jill is scary on the edge. Oh, he's, a, he's not afraid at all, so that's very good. He's playing a lot of confidence. That's what we like to see in the uh, No, no reaction from uh, Happy Girls. He's still going to go. I swear to fucking go to Renzo. He did, did he do pivot down smash there? <laughs> I don't even know. If Jill went straight up, that would have been no problem. I think <laughs> Oh my god, what's the setup, dude? That's so funny. It's just playing as a Martha is, it's so it's so annoying, but seeing it it's so it's so funny. He just like he does things that uh, no one does with Martha. Oh that's, yeah, that's unfortunate. Two I feel like Renzo's playing a little chest. It's two ledge uh ledge miss up, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that was He's playing. He's playing well. He's like kind of like missing like some of the small things. He certainly wants to win this tournament. He is first seed. He is first seed. Okay. He is first seed. Yeah. And I'm guessing after this is like six, what, five, eight, eight, because this is win his part. No, I see. Yeah, oh, eight. oh yeah. I don't know. One versus eight, and then two Seven versus seven. You know. Yeah. Okay. Oh, he gets. Dude, he gets there. Yeah, he gets it. Or he just wins. Uh, of the bag of playing so many and Renzo. Oh, he didn't. Rich is the at like 30 or 20 percent, right? He has the twice yeah, at kill percent, so. He did, but you know. Gil is, is, is. is only really took two, so. Well. Uh, you know. Well. Well. It, <laughs> well, see. Uh, this is going to be an MP, so, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see. It is what it is, you know. It happens. Yeah, um, you know, just got to tank it and move on. I mean, Renz is made for the strongest stuff that you kill from this out of all things. No, he's fine. I do think as well, like Renzo, sometimes he takes losses badly, but this would be one loss that he probably can like accept in his heart. He might even be happy for, uh, for Gilles. I mean, yeah, but would he be more happy for No, Gilles he would be happier winning. Yeah, that, of if course. That's what you're he, he, it's no, we're not talking about Pearl, right? Who is like, more happy to, to win than so uh, to lose. That <laughs> he's happier for you that you've won than he's happy from, for himself that he's won. It's like the <laughs> what a good guy. playing super clean though. He hasn't really fucked anything up. I feel like. Not anything major at least. Like small combos. Like if only I had a controller that could pivot that nicely as well. Is he playing on his group, right? It could, it could be yours for low, low price. And $500. Or $100. <laughs> <laughs> is he Maybe. playing on his group, right? Maybe. Uh, I think he is. I think he fits. That was such a weird uh, jab. He was like, Gillis was in it. Yeah. I hate it. What? 
the, the, I hate that counter edge card. Sometimes. The one where you counter to the stage. Yeah, so, so did, did you read it. about like the the, 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 the weird tech lockout yeah. stuff? Apparently, so Jim Morrison and Renzo have been labbing this like this week, and I can share this information yeah. to all Fox mains out there. Right. So apparently, the reason why it's super difficult to tech this, usually you have I think 20 frames to wall. Yeah. Uh, but Marth counter has some weird property that causes the tech lockout to be instead of 20, it's like four frames, and it's not shut even up. four frames after each other. It's two frames and then two more uh, frames shut somewhere the fuck else. Up. There's no you way. should uh, it, it, go oh ask Jim Morrison. My God. Are you serious? That's what they said. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> that fucking sucks. I, I recall I like that. I <laughs> years ago when I still uh, played Marth. Jim Morrison once telling me when I did that combo, he said, yeah, just always do that, even though I'm like the best player here. Yeah. Because I've lapped this with Kasu okay, for okay. hours, there's no way you can fucking tag this. I, I, he was I so, he was so adamant about it that I've always This better be true, by it. the way, because like the whole Marth Discord's molding but, I mean, right Renzo's now, if it's not true. a labber, right? So, I mean, and it's a, it's a, he doesn't use, Renzo doesn't believe. use stuff that doesn't work. I can believe it. This game's fucked up, I can believe it. Yeah, so it has to do something with like the, 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 score, the score is wrong. But, yeah, the score is uh, wrong. 1-1 right now. Yeah. Yo, Flanagan, can I just score a boss? It's 8-8. No, yeah. Renzo lost on, on uh, FD and then went to <laughs> Greenland out of rage. Out of spite. <laughs> Alright, well, well, I wasn't sure Jimmy could shake it off. Game, but, uh, I mean, just to grab a few times and then juggle pretty hard, right? Yeah, yeah. it is what it is. Yeah. It's FD against Good Marth. I do wonder, like, I know, like, <laughs> SDI on the box is great, but uh, regular DI? Uh, regular DI is not that Can you do, like, the slide behind DI that you should do against Marth on FD? Like, is, you can do. Okay, you can do slide DI, but you can't do it as well. It's, like, a little bit more noticeable, I think. You also can't do the magic. Which you can also slide for. Alright, yeah, so <clears throat> definitely what, what like. Shake and guess it. What? what are you shaking? What are you like? Wait, wait, you're explaining it to me. So <laughs> okay, it's done. Wait, head? Never mind. You've never done commentary, have you? I'm, oh, come on. Okay, whatever. Um, no, you can. Uh, you cannot do the magic yet. Alright, yeah. I won't shake my head this time. I'll just say, uh, verbally, uh, uh, acknowledge your, uh, wisdom. Always holding in so hard, dude. Why don't you just get down tilted and DI out so you go to the ledge? Isn't that better? Then you can just, like, use your big gun in the moment. And, uh, Maybe. Yeah. Oh, oh, that was a yeah. really spicy ledge. Oh, nice crowd. angle. <laughs> that was some tight shit. Uh, that was also some tight shit. Renzo just doesn't care about approaching. Actually, so smart. Just let Fox come at you and CC grab him and stuff like that. That was such a bad idea. That's like a me, just edge just uphill. I'm surprised you can cover that with a roll. That's crazy, I'm still in time. Yeah, that was just uh, pretty tight. I think uh, you only a few friends to spare there. I think it's crazy how we like talk about this. It feels like he should have had a frame more, frame less, you know. Uh, he just went for that because he thought it would hit. And then uh, even if it, if it was a frame too late, we'd have said, oh yeah, I just too late. Yeah. I sound like a scar, you know. I was existential. <laughs> you sound like scar? We can talk about the, the cards for Yeah, like that's like the existential stuff. <laughs> 45. <laughs> <laughs> I can I got a block to fill, alright. Uh, <laughs> this time it's uh, alright, it's 14. Yeah, sure, we can do that. Oh, fuck it. Oh, oh nice GI. I love killing with the PS Mart. Like, Ground of the Beat is so juicy. It's like the only fast move that you have that sends it straight out. Oh. That was almost a kill. It's really hard to scare that kill. Would have paid off. Dividends. That was. Wow. Yeah, he's. That was, uh, he did shield and yeah. then wave dash. Full, full length wave dash behind. Then wave shine him like four. 
He's a uh, pretty technically proficient. Yeah. Well, I say he's carried by his controller. All right, uh, yeah. You know, he, he, he always was the very technical. True, he was always a very technical. Apparently, his wave shines have always been like best in the game. Yeah. That's too bad. Um, wasn't enough though. It's still pretty close though. Boom. I feel like. Uh, yeah. All right, our uh, nice, uh, local just commentator just got DQ'd. Well, I just made someone's day for DQing it. Hey, <laughs> the reason why this took so long, by the way, is because I already had a DQ in round one. Oh, yeah. So I'm that guy. So, you know, you get that amateur's bracket where, like, 50% of players are DQs. I'm there. I'm that. Mm -hmm. It's just, you know, I just want to do commentary. Uh, Renzo just done with it. Jill is giving us a thumbs up. I uh, feel like we're at some. Uh, there's some. Wait, wait. Or is Renzo just. No, he's at the TO desk. There's some um, reg regulatory dispute going on, maybe. What's. I don't know. Oh, that's him. Hey, what's up, Jill? What's up? Oh, okay. Hey, what's going on? He's cleaning. So he's cleaning his stick. He's cleaning his he's stick. He's cleaning his stick. Maybe he just, um, you know, put a little gr too much grease on there. Ah. Too slippery. <laughs> oh, he's back already. You think Jillis did it? No. You think Jillis made the I stick think really no. greasy? He, have you ever seen Renzo play? He <laughs> plays like, he, his computer's all looped up, you know, because he has to slide everywhere. Uh, what? His computer? Alright, his controller. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> his controller is like... He, have you ever seen, like, Renzo's really, like, a slippery <laughs> Martha? Uh, he is a slippery Martha. <laughs> Maybe he's put it a bit too much grease. I was gonna say something, but if you watch the body, I was gonna call him the most Luigi Martha. Well, now you did anyway. I did. He's not, I was lying. If you watch Renzo, I'm sorry. He is very slippery. Well, I. Wasn't I putting. <laughs> Talking about this uh, like big tangent there, Renzo is like the most tricky part. So he kind of is the most mid-tier part player because he he does all of this stuff. If you play top tier, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. He has a lot of stuff. Well, the thing is, if you play top tier, everyone knows your character, right? Yeah, but you don't know Renzo. You don't know. <laughs> you know Marth. It's like you don't know Seo Samus. You know Samus, oh, right? Yeah, that's a oh really my good god. Analogy. Well, uh, except for people who are watching this who are like... Except for everyone who doesn't uh, Seo. Well, he's not here, unfortunately. Uh, Seo. Uh, who is the Seo? All the French players? <laughs> and all the British people are like, who is Seo? That was terrible, actually. I, I, I respect it. Thanks. Oh, so apparently Jim Morrison beats uh, 9-3-1. Yeah. Jim Morrison beats... Stein 3-1. 3-1. Uh, right. I thought uh, Stein was alright. No, Jim Morrison. I think. He's a pair of Who's just been... Who's just been going off? Well, he did win double. Solo I think he lost double. Stein won. Are you kidding me? Stein... Uh, uh, Jim Morrison has been solo practice. I'm sounding when, the alarm. When? In 2015 or...? No! Like, like three days ago. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. That's why the lab started. Yeah. It's yeah. crazy. He's he's on something else. Entering a new era. Oh, era. God. oh dude, he was. Oh man, that was. I think that seriously were like at least eight of them. I, I think he was not DIing on purpose so he could try and jump out as quick as he could. And then really work out. Did, maybe he got charged. He jumped out. Uh, uh, what not? Uh, maybe. maybe. I should probably pay more attention. Yeah. His stuff's just gone. Yeah, this yeah. is soulful commentary, as they call it. <laughs> Sorry, chat. Sorry, chat. We should open chat so we can answer some questions if we want to. Yeah, I don't have that. Oh, there is chat over here. That's, I can't read that. That's too small. All right. Uh, all right. I've, I feel like we've seen this exact stock game situation like three sets in a row now. Yeah, it, was, it is possible. I mean, game, game, uh, or do you mean every set or do you mean Yeah, like game me, Knuckles. Yeah, it's like, but it's like when the low, when the, it's the last game, you know, the lower seed of player has one set left. Of course, you're going to start about, who you can still, you know, do it, but uh, he's just going to lose. Oh, <laughs> okay, no, alright. He tries there. Oh, he's... Um, that was winners though, so... Not that much emotional to either of their faces, to be honest.